keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi, welcome to this video from racingbetdata.com. Today in this video, we're going to be answering a question that we get asked quite often, um, and that is how can we use previous day's files and combine them into one data source? Okay, the answer is really, really simply actually using Excel um, Power Query function. Okay, and I'm going to talk you through how you do that. Now, first of all, for the purpose of the video, what we're going to do is export the files from the archive just for October, so just for the current month, simply just by clicking on all of these and exporting these to uh, to my download. So it's good practice anyway to do this, to keep, um, keep an archive, keep a log. Um, and what I do is actually save these in uh, on my C drive on a uh, Dropbox folder each day. Um, so I maintain um, a record of all the previous day's files. So now I've downloaded all my files, what I want to do is combine them. Now, there's a really useful function in, uh, in Excel, and this is in versions of 2010 and above. Um, now, if you're using 2010, 2013, you'll need to download the free Power Query app from uh, from the website is it's a fully authorized Microsoft product um, and that will just clip into your into your Excel um, workbook for versions of 2016 onwards it's a standard feature um, and you can find that by going to the data tab here um, and then clicking get data so I'm in uh, Excel 2019 so I already have this feature built in um, Power Queries for Mac users is still in development at the moment, um, unfortunately, but for all other Windows users, um, 2010 onwards, you can access this function. This is a real simple um, example of what you can do to combine multiple days worth of data. So we're going to go to the data tab and then go to get data from file and then from folder. Now, what I do is paste uh, each morning, I save the daily file into um, a separate a separate folder within my uh, within my Dropbox. So pre raised downloads. So if I select OK, now what I've done for the purpose of this video is trim this folder down. So you can see here that I have is found these five um, five days worth of daily files in there. Okay. Now what we want to do is click on um, combine and we can combine and load straight into Excel. If we do combine and transform, this allows us to further manipulate the data. Um, so I'm just going to do this um, example here. It evaluates the query and then it asks us which tabs do we want to use? And it's found these in the in the first workbook. Now the one we want to select is combined because that is the consistent tab throughout all the daily files, because obviously um, on specific days, you have tracks, uh, courses, Ascot, Dundalk, Fontwell, they won't necessarily have be hosting a meeting the next day. So combined um, is the one we want to, to use. So we click on that and then click OK. And then Excel is going to work its magic in the background, uh, loading the query, and it pulls that data in, OK? So all of that data from those five files are all already in there now. And you can click on this filter here that is apply this new column, um, click load, and it'll go through these. There you go. So you can see and you can filter by each of those days files. It's combined it into one file. OK. So I am put it into this uh, editor for one sole purpose, and that is because um, if you're selecting a series of data from multiple days you're likely to get horse duplication so say for instance let's pick a horse um, that was running on the first um, abington park so that was due to run here on the um, first of october say for instance it ran again on the fourth of october you would have those lines duplicated and in fact the, the line for the first of october where you have it first of all, it will be blank because the horse result isn't in there. And then you'd have it again later on with the 4th of October as the, the new date and the, the 1st of October data would be populated. 
So what we can do very quickly and cleverly is highlight the date column. And I'm just going to scroll back to the horse column and highlight that one as well. And we can go remove rows and remove duplicates. And what that's done is remove those duplicates from that editor. OK, and this will remember the steps so you can um, bump new data into here and it will remember the steps. Now, to get this back to Excel, what we need to do is click on home. And by the way, whilst we're in this editor, there's, there's a lot that you can do in here. Um, I'm only skimming the surface, but across the top here, you can see that it, that it automatically um, assumes the, 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 the format of each of these columns. So you can see here the date is put a little date icon, uh, ABC for um, text columns and then it'll, it'll do the same for numeric where it'll put a one two three it's all automatically formatted to time and you may just need to run your eye over these just to make sure they're okay specifically the um the percentage ones down the end here so you can see here this is put an abc uh in here last time out it's put a um let's put it as numeric further down um we can see again percentage one's not been converted to percentage it's not a big issue um, but if you wanted it to display in the correct um, format then you can convert those here um, you can see here dot percentage and it's put it as a decimal so we can click on that and simply convert to percentage okay simple as that and you can do that in excel later as well so what we need to do to get this back to excel is close and load and we can select close and load two now this gives you various options. You can export these to pivot table reports or pivot charts, um, but we're just gonna send it to a, a new Excel workbook. And as you can see here, it's processing um, the data. And there you go, that data is now in Excel, okay? And it's added this column. So this shows you the source of the, um, the data. And then the great thing is what you can do is save this and you can just by adding new files to that, that pre-race download folder you can refresh this data um, and it will automatically add it in so I'm just going to do this off screen I'm just going to go and download the data from the 6th of the 10th which is today uh, get that file and I'm going to pop that in my pre-race download folder so just as a reminder just click on this you can see first second third fourth fifth the data is in there we click this refresh refresh button it's just running a query now and now if we click on this you can see that it's added in the data from the SIP so all of today's data is now in that file and you can do that as many times as you want um, you would then have to run your um, your deletion check because you might end up with duplicate horses in there but that's a very simple, quick way to obtain multiple days worth of data into one file.